The former head of Britain's armed forces has said he expects a thorough investigation after the BBC found evidence that the SAS had executed detainees and murdered unarmed people in Afghanistan. Lord Richards, the Chief of Defence Staff at the time, said the allegations were worrying and he had no doubt his successor would want to investigate them. The BBC's Panorama discovered that one unit killed 54 people in suspicious circumstances. The Minister of Defence says it will always hold UK troops to the highest standards and that they served with courage and professionalism in Afghanistan. Richard Blilton has this report. The kill or capture raids happen most nights. The SAS were hunting for bomb makers, but something went wrong. What we have found suggests a pattern of deliberate killings. We've spoken to eyewitnesses who were on some of these night raids. Now, they don't want to be identified, but they say they saw unarmed Afghans being shot dead by British Special Forces. Panorama obtained military reports that show people were repeatedly shot dead after surrendering to the SAS in 2010 and 2011. We looked at one SAS tour and identified 54 suspicious killings in just six months. This isn't just rogue troops on the ground. Our evidence shows that those at the very top of special forces were warned. One of my team, an officer, has been told that there is in effect an unofficial policy to kill wherever possible fighting age males on target. What is extraordinary is senior officers didn't report the allegations to the Royal Military Police, but kept evidence in a secret classified file. There was another opportunity for special forces to come clean. General Sir Mark Carlton Smith, who stepped down as head of the army last month, became head of special forces in 2012. Our evidence suggests he too failed to disclose the information about war crimes. He didn't respond to our questions and the Ministry of Defence said it can't comment for legal reasons. Today, the MOD said, we believe that BBC Panorama's episode about SAS operations in Afghanistan jumps to unjustified conclusions from allegations that have already been fully investigated. But military investigators who worked on the main investigation into war crimes in Afghanistan have told us they were stopped from getting to the truth. It became increasingly clear to me that it didn't matter what evidence we were able to gather. These cases were never going to be allowed to go to court. We showed our evidence to General Sir David Richards, who was head of the entire armed forces during the time we investigated. In a statement, he said, given the compelling nature of the programme, if I was still chief of the defence staff, I would order a thorough investigation of the events portrayed. I have no doubt that Admiral Radakin, the current chief of the defence staff, will do this. The Ministry of Defence says military police will consider any allegations should new evidence come to light. But some believe it is time to look again at the behaviour of SAS death squads that arrived in the night. Richard Bilton, BBC News.